Okay, so we have calculated the sales by item, we have calculated the sales by time period, and we've also calculated the sales by day. Uh, for this next one, we want to do something like calculating or finding out the peak hours, which are very helpful to understand how to organize the service team because this is a restaurant and know when is the time period to expect the most customers, which is very good on customer service. Since if you know when most of customers coming in, you can work on trying to, you can just work on trying to make sure they get the best services. How to get the hours, we can label something hours here. We can use the same formula used for the days, which will be text. The, this one, comma, hours, enter. Then we can find the hours as you can see here, 15, 15, 58, 16, moves to 16. The other way to do this is by using our power query, which we find here on the data, home insert the here data, we can show the queries, double click on our query here, add column, column from example, then we can double click here, then we can bring all the, all the things that we can get from this. And we can get, when we move down, when you can see all these clocks, you can find the hour from date, enter, she names it perfect. Okay. Home, close, and load, and it will give us the data. Uh, then we'll work on grouping this together so that we can produce something reasonable with it. Uh, and we'll do this by creating a query, our uh, pivot table. Click on the pivot table. Click on the pivot table, new worksheet. Okay. Okay. Select the table, new worksheet. Close the square bar. Can minimize this so that you can see. We'll rename this pick hours, enter, and now we can work on this. So the rows will have the hours, and then the items will have, will be here. Now with this, we can create a, a pivot chart, which because it's a period of time, we'll use the line graph. can use any among this, just use this regular one. Okay, delete this, hide this, rename it to pick hours. Enter, boom, that looks quite good. We can add a filter here. It works nicely. We can add a slicer, sorry. On the pivot chart analyzer, you can add a slicer that will work with the items. Okay. Now we have this slicer, which you can click with different products and see how they fare all over the day. You can see since something like Barista 10 from 12 is when the people start taking it. And uh, what you can do to make this a little bit better uh let's just come here field settings layout let's just so we don't want is to also display the items with no data okay so i deleted the slicer by mistake let's just add the slicer again chart slicer item okay so you can see barista 10, there's no sale from six to about 12. Barista one was discontinued. So let's check something on like barista two. You can see how it's faring. People start eating barista two around nine. 
And for us to understand completely, we can check something like barista breakfast, and you can see barista breakfast from 6 to around 12. People take barista breakfast that time. Also something else, the barista breakfast, I'm not sure what that name is. And just let this see the name, barista uh, breakfast samosa, barista breakfast sausage. You can see when people take these things. Something like chicken biryani to stick in around lunchtime. Pancakes, they're taken in the morning and very, very sparingly after mid midday, but mostly it's in the morning. And this really, really helps us to understand how something like a juice, people drink juice during midday because it's very hot. We can check on something like a latte. It's taken in the evening, a latte is coffee. Uh, barista iced coffee, discontinued, discontinued product. Uh, we can check on pizzas, it's taken midday. A shake, it's taken around midday and in the evening. It's very, very easy to look at this information and understand how it is faring among all the products. Something like black coffee. People usually drink coffee around 8 to 12. And in the evening, maybe after they, they come out of job, this is tea. It's usually drunk in the morning and mostly in the evening. And this can be very helpful to understand how products your products fare. Something like cappuccino double. People usually drink coffee in the evening after they come out of job. You can see even cappuccino single in the morning, very uh, sparingly around lunchtime, but mostly in the evening. This just helps you to understand how your products fare. Uh, with this, it's very informative. And uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Uh, peace. See you in the next one.